Welcome, we're learning Chichi Max and you're watching 5 Minute Max. Daily dose of 5 minutes, learning Autodesk 3 Chichi Max. In previous episode, we have learned about the cylinder. And in this one, next one on the menu is Taurus. So let's learn what Taurus is. Uh, if you are under common panel, the first one is create and create tab has subgroups of geometry under standard primitives we have this menu and the fourth one down is torus click on that it will be blue now let's learn how to create that um, in the perspective view I'll be creating that it's just like uh, when your mouse has changed to crosshair just click and drag it's basically a donut shape now let go of the mouse so you're still not done you can go up and down to give it give it the second radius and click one once more and it will be done so um, let's get rid of the cross here because um, your mouse is still ready to create more torus but we don't want that we want to customize this one and see the parameters you can either uh, press on select object or press Q um, but there's another way you can just um, right click your mouse and it will go away but uh, it will also take um, the parameter rolled out but do not fear it's hiding underneath modify tab click on that while your torus is selected and you can see all the options so the parameters has um, the radius 1 and 2 we have already worked with them uh, while creating them you can still change them and um, it will change the values now it has rotation. Um, well, rotation is basically uh, the center of the this rim uh, or this donut uh, has a, a circular shape. Within the shape, which rotates, you can basically see in this view. But if you uh, pay attention to this one, the front view, um, you can see the rotation happens. See the, the there's the rotation. So it has twist, it basically deforms it. Um, so if you just twist, you can see inside the front viewport that it, it is indeed twisted and also on the perspective viewport, it creates like a ring. Now you can change the segments. If I put lower segments like five, it becomes pentagon. So um, it's basically is like at least you need three Thing. yeah it's you need at least three um, segments to create um, create a torus but you can always increase them and make them become smoother so um, let's put 32 to make it even smoother and let's see what are the smoothing groups uh, has to offer um, if you select all which is the default one um, it will look like this what you have seen uh, in perspective view but if we change it to sides you can see uh, it looks like it and the surface of the geometry or the torus is chamfered or somehow um, you can see the edges so this is a different type of smoothing group uh, so you can change the smoothing setting smooth settings uh, from the parameter let's go on none so you can see even um, most of the face or the polygons of this geometry you can set it to segments you will see like it's a, a coil or a coil snake to be honest now um, it has slice mode so if you enable slice and if you increase slice from then you can see you can like give it interesting shapes you can animate with this one you can create different types of shapes uh, mostly rigging controls which we will uh, cover in advanced lessons but you can create usually the torus is used for uh, rig controls sometimes rings uh, for many different times uh, it's used as a like a hole on the ground um, so uh, you'll be you'll be using torus every once in a while if you're if you're working on a big project so that is Taurus for us. Um, next day we'll be learning um, something else. And um, up until then, goodbye.